Welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today we're going to be doing a really special and kind of unique top 10 favorite 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray releases of the year video. And this is something I've talked about previously here on the YouTube channel and something that I've done some previous top releases as well. But this is the one for this year that I wanted to go through and discuss with all of you and share some kind of surprises and some hidden titles that a lot of you probably aren't aware of and some things that will probably surprise you along the way. Now, before we get into this, I did want to touch on Top Gun Maverick. Now, as most of you are aware, this title has been covered by literally everybody and I kind of eliminated it for that reason just alone every single person in every single top 10 or top new releases has covered Top Gun Maverick I did enjoy it I thought it was a phenomenal 4k Ultra HD release I do recommend the release I'll have the link down below if you haven't bought it yet but I felt like it was covered so many times that I felt like I was kind of doing a disservice to a lot of other phenomenal 4K releases that came out this year by including something that has been covered literally by everybody. So this one is eliminated for that reason and that reason alone. There's a lot of special titles and hidden titles I wanted to go over to make sure to cover in this so that way I kind of gave you guys an alternative top 10 releases of the year that has some really big surprises in it. So I did just want to touch on that so that way you do know about that. But if you do decide you want to buy any of these releases, Top Gun or any of these 4Ks I'm going to cover today, as always, I post those Amazon links directly in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Those links never cost you even a penny extra when you click on them. It takes you straight out to Amazon and they're on sale for the same prices everywhere. But those do help to support the creation of these videos in this YouTube channel just a tiny bit. So make sure if any of these titles that I'm going to cover today in this video or any reviews that you've watched on my channel before you decide you want to buy, always go down to those links I posted in the description section and in the pinned comment section below. So today we're going to be doing a countdown from 10 all the way down to 1, my top favorite, but I'm going to be talking about my favorite releases of the year. And that's why I kind of wanted to mention about Top Gun Maverick is, is I did like it. But these are a lot of really my favorite titles of the year that really blew me away. I had already expected Top Gun Maverick to be a good release based on what I'd saw in theaters, but these are a lot of ones that were kind of restorations and some surprises. So starting off here at number 10, we have Boss Level on 4K Ultra HD. Now, if you haven't seen Boss Level, it's done by Joe Carnahan and has Frank Grillo in it, who I really enjoy. And I recently did a review of Cop Shop on 4K Ultra HD, and I have that link available on this YouTube channel if you want to check out that review it's in a massive compilation review video where I did like 35 reviews and this was one of those hidden kind of unknown titles in that well a lot of people had asked about boss level because I really enjoyed cop shop because it harkened back to those like great classic like 90s action movie feels and that's why I enjoyed cop shop well boss level was another film that Joe Carnahan the same director who did cop shop did with Frank Grillo later on. And this one is really, really good as well. I actually like Boss Level even better than Cop Shop. Well, this is the only 4K Ultra HD release that was released worldwide. It is a native 4K 2160p, and it does have Dolby Vision and HDR10. And I will tell you the Dolby Vision looks great on this release. It has a really nice layer of film grain over it because it's a native 4K from the original 4K digital intermediate that it was finished at and it looks really good. And it was one of those surprise releases because I already own the original Blu-ray release. And the original Blu-ray release was okay, but because it's a very stylized and kinetic action comedy, on the Blu-ray it had a very soft appearance overall, very dull colors and everything like that. So it definitely wasn't a great release on Blu-ray. Well, the 4K Ultra HD release fixed that, and I absolutely loved the cover art on this, and that's what really kind of sold me as one of those releases for the year that I absolutely love. Man, the like purple and kind of like neon, like 80s retro vibe this gives, where it says boss level on it in English on the side here, and then the back cover art, man, the hand-drawn cover art on this, if you can see how gorgeous that is, it's really outstanding. And that's why this was one of my favorite releases. Now, it does come with a Blu-ray. The Blu-ray is region B locked, in here it does have a book, some of it's in English, some of it's in German. And then on the back here, it does have your 4K Ultra HD disc. The 4K Ultra HD is 100% region free. You won't have any issues playing it in any player worldwide. 
Now, this release I will have linked below in the description section with the direct Amazon link. There's only one link even available worldwide. This is a very limited edition release, and I'm gonna point that out. I've done this before and shared some of these in previous videos, and people have said, well, hey, I waited, and it's out of print, and I can't get it anymore. There's only one company that even made this release in this media book, and it's available through that link I posted down below. That's the only exclusive link that even sells this. You can't find it anywhere. I've searched eBay everywhere. Amazon is the only one that has it, and it's this limited edition set. So if you do decide you want to get this, make sure to click through that link down below because that's the only way to actually find this limited edition set. But the film itself definitely is one of those action movies with a heart. And I really thought Joe Carnahan did a great job with Frank Grillo's character and how you learn to grow to like him as the film goes on. At first, you won't like him at all. He is in the beginning of the movie, one of those rough characters that you kind of just, it puts you off at first. But as the film goes on, if you actually sit there and watch it, the reason it harkens back to a lot of those great 90s action flicks is because it builds to where you start to like his character more because he grows and learns things as he dies and starts the day over again. And I don't want to give away too much about the film because I really enjoyed going into this kind of not knowing much of anything about the film. But I will say this much, it is one of those films that kind of repeats itself as it goes along, but you get to learn more and more about the world, more and more about the characters, and it expands so well on it. The special effects were great in it, the action was great in it, and as it goes along, you'll notice from the beginning of the film till the end, the color gamut expands, which works really well with the Dolby Vision and HDR10 on this. Details shine through great, but do keep in mind, you will notice there is film grain. That is intentional. That was the way it was done by Joe Carnahan to give it more of that classic 90s, 80s action movie vibe, which I appreciate because it does lend to the film, but it looks great in this 4K Ultra HD and blows away all of the digital streaming services and the previous Blu-ray release. Now, audio wise, no burn in subtitles and this does have English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 lossless mix on this. Sounded really great, no audio lag was the best audio mix compared to the streaming and the Blu-ray releases. So this comes in at number 10. I really enjoyed this one and it was really great to get this on 4K Ultra HD. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Just like with this video, I cover a lot of exclusive and unknown titles from all over the world. So that way, if you are into collecting movies or enjoying TV series, any of those things, you're not gonna wanna miss out on any of my earlier exclusive videos that are only available here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to go down, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now coming in at number nine is Halo, the complete first season on 4K Ultra HD. Now I previously did a complete in-depth analysis and review that's available if you want more information on this release, but I will tell you, this was one of those surprising releases that is a reference quality 4K Ultra HD with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos that are both reference quality on this release. That's where it really surprised me. Now for those of you that didn't think Halo was the best written or acted TV series. Here's what I thought about it. I enjoyed the series. Did I think it was the best ever? No, but I really enjoyed the world building they did. I thought the special effects for a TV series were great for a sci-fi TV series. I love Halo the video game and Master Chief's character. I like that they did a completely different thing with the story for this. So if you go into it with that sense, looking at this as its own thing and just a brand new sci-fi universe they're building, it is pretty darn epic in scope and grand of a series. And with this reference quality release, I was really blown away with what Paramount Studios did. This was a reference release and came in at number nine. And it was an absolutely enjoyable sci-fi romp that, again, for what you're getting for the value of this for the entire first season and one complete 4K set, it was a great release and just one of those reference quality releases that you'll show off visual and audio quality. Wow, the Dolby Atmos on this was great. Coming in at number eight is Edge of Tomorrow. Now this is one of those Emily Blunt, Tom Cruise, time travel sci-fi films. And it went by two titles. It went by Edge of Tomorrow and Live, Die, Repeat, which I talked about in my original review. If you wanna know the complete review on this and analysis with the image comparisons, you can always go check out all these videos that I've done on reviews earlier this year. But that's available on the YouTube channel to check out right now as well. 
As far as this one goes, it deserved a great transfer on 4K, and it got it in this release. It got phenomenal visual and audio quality in this with a great upgrade over the previous Blu-ray release. Really surprised me what Warner Brothers were able to pull out for this release. Such an enjoyable sci-fi film. And that's why this film got number eight on my list. This is such a worthwhile upgrade and such a great sci-fi flick that if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to go watch my review, but this one comes in at number eight. Coming in at number seven is The Hurt Locker on 4K Ultra HD. And this is a very, very limited edition 4K Ultra HD steelbook release from Lionsgate. I absolutely love The Hurt Locker as a more contemporary in the last few years, basically war action film. It is directed phenomenally well, acted with Jeremy Renner phenomenally well, absolutely love the film itself and this 4k ultra hd release did not disappoint in any way shape or form though i will say i put that link down below but it's really expensive and hard to get a hold of these days because it was a very limited edition limited print 4k ultra hd release that came out and was gone there are some copies available, but they're being sold at a higher price, obviously, because they're not available by retailers standardly anymore. But this was a great upgrade over the dull and drab Blu-ray releases from before. And I absolutely love the film. If you have not checked out this film, as far as a war film goes, it's about basically bomb defusal unit that basically goes out during wartime over in the Middle East and basically is defusing bombs and IEDs and things like that while they're being shot at. And the opening scene still holds today as one of my favorite opening scenes of like a classic or even a modern war film. I absolutely love the tenseness behind it and how realistically it was filmed. It's just done so phenomenally well and it looks great on this 4K Ultra HD release. And the audio quality upgrade you got on this with Dolby Atmos was really one of those just phenomenally well done audio quality upgrades. Absolutely love this release and I will say Lionsgate blew it out of the park with the slipcover and the steelbook. If you can see that, it is probably one of my favorite like steelbook releases. They got special cover art on the back and then the slip cover is a special limited edition cover art. And it shows through the character's face on the back with the smoke coming from the bomb. And really Lionsgate does some of the best limited edition steelbook releases for 4K Ultra HDs. But this is one of those that earned number seven on the list. And if you have not checked out this film, I don't care what the prices are of this release. If you haven't gotten it yet on 4K, you need to buy it because man, the upgrade on this blows away any of the previous releases of this film, and that is the best way to view this film. Coming in at number six was Arrow Video's limited edition set of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And I absolutely loved this film. Now it's not the best version ever made of Robin Hood, but this one holds a special place in my heart. I think Kevin Costner is absolutely great in it. Alan Rickman is so over the top and you kind of have to go into it thinking of his character as kind of comedic in a sense. Now, yes, this Robin Hood was kind of darker in some areas, but that's why I loved it. I thought it meshed so well together and Morgan Freeman, I absolutely loved Morgan Freeman in this as well. Even Christian Slater's pretty good in it. And that's where I said, it's kind of one of those films that to me, I remember seeing it in theaters and had such a wonderful experience. I actually went to see this in theaters twice when it came out originally, but on home video, it's always had a very rough history. The Blu-ray releases were always very dull, very poor releases, and the DVD releases before that were horrible. So it's one of those that's never been treated very kindly on home video and really deserved to have one of those magnificent transfers. Finally got one. This release really surprised me with how good of a job Arrow Video did on this. And the other nice things about this release was they didn't just give us the theatrical cut with a new scan and restoration. They did both the theatrical and the extended cut with a brand new 4K scan of the original camera negatives and did a restoration, 4K restoration, of both cuts, not just one. Great job, Arrow Video. Really surprised me with what they did for this release. Looks great and sounded better than it's ever sounded before on home video. I could hear so many things that I couldn't hear on the previous Blu-ray releases that were so disappointing that the audio mix on this with this restoration really sounded great as well. Another reason this earned its spot on number six is because this does have HDR10 and Dolby Vision on this. 
The HDR10 and Dolby Vision with this new 4K release shine through wonderfully well and giving that varying shades, lights to darks with brilliant whites and inky blacks, man, it lended so much to this film that I felt like I was going back to watching it originally when I saw it in cinemas. I mean, actually, I felt like it was even a little better than that, to be honest with you, but it really harkened back to that just gorgeous experience that was lacking on all the previous home video releases that Robin Hood Prince of Thieves has ever had. What a great release by Arrow Video. Loved the artwork they gave on this. It is one of those limited edition sets. I'll have that link down below, but keep in mind with these limited edition sets, they do sell out, they go out of print, and Arrow Video never prints them again. I've talked about this hundreds of times here on this YouTube channel. These are a big collectible. If you love collecting classic movies or movies you like, do not sleep on this release. You will miss out on it. It's only available for a limited time and then once it sells out. Now, is this going to be coming out as a standard release in the US? I don't know. They only licensed it for around the UK, though this is a region free release. This exact release, all of the discs in here, which is your 4K disc basically, is region free. So you don't have to worry about it being region locked, though there is no standard Blu-ray disc in this, which I'm fine with that because it does save some costs. This release for Arrow Video is a lower cost release, so the nice thing about it is, is it's not one of those that's gonna cost you, you know, 90, 80 bucks. But it does come with reversible artwork on it that I absolutely love. And inside it, you did get all your art cards in here with your posters, obviously. And then you obviously have your disc here, which is region free on it. And I do really love their booklets, though I will say for this one, it's mostly pictures. They talk a little bit about the film in it but it's not one of those glossy ones. I wish they would have done it glossy, like one of the later on releases I'm gonna talk about, but as far as this one goes, it does have a really nice booklet in it. And then you get the really nice posters that have both the artworks on them. So you get the original theatrical artwork and then the newly commissioned artwork. So overall, an absolutely outstanding release by Arrow Video. I would not wait to buy this because it's region free anyways. If we don't get it in the US, you're gonna miss out on this release altogether. It seems like they only licensed it in one territory. I'll put that link down below to order it though. That's the official link to order this set. Absolutely great release. If you like this film at all, this is the best it's ever looked and it really is one of those eye-opening experiences seeing it on this. Because of how horrible all the previous Blu-ray releases that have ever been released have looked, I was really surprised at how much detail and depth there was to this image that I was missing out on the previous Blu-ray. So the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves limited edition set by Arrow Video really was one of those substantial and surprising upgrades that we got here towards the end of the year that was a nice surprise. I didn't really expect it to be outstanding and as good looking as it really did look on this 4K release, so that's where it was a nice surprise. And I got some good news, there's no disc replacement needed for this release. I've had some issues with some previous Arrow video releases and that's where I feel like their quality has slightly gone down. Well, good news is they kind of took a break from releasing things on 4K for a couple of months and kind of reworked some things in their studio. And this was a great release that we don't have to get any replacement discs done for, so there's no reason to wait on it. So don't sleep on this release because you don't want to miss out on this. I put that link down below for you. Coming in at number five is The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is one of my personal favorite 80s sci-fi action adventure films with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I am a massive Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. I grew up watching all of his films, going to theaters with my dad to see them. I absolutely love Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is a great sci-fi film of his that got a great 4K Ultra HD release in the US and around the world. Now, as most of you know, I've talked about this before. I previously owned it on the previous 4K Ultra HD releases by Cape Light from Germany. I did buy it on 4K Ultra HD in the US as well to compare to see which one comes out the best. Now, this is my nice release. My other one was damaged, so I always show this one off from Cape Light. Well, as far as the 4K Ultra HD release went for this, it was a nice upgrade over Cape Light's release. Now, Cape Light does have some commentaries on there, so I'm not getting rid of my release because it does have some commentaries that are not included in Paramount's US release. But there is some nice visual upgrades. It does have a better bitrate on this and it does have a more stable layer of film grain throughout it. With, I will say that the Dolby Vision on this does look better than Cape Light's release. Now, how much of a difference? 
I'm gonna say it's about a five to maybe about eight, nine percent difference in Dolby Vision on the US release versus what came out on the Cape Light release upgrade that you get. But to me, if I notice those visual changes and I notice it enough when I'm watching it, that it makes it a worthwhile upgrade for me, then I'm excited for it. And in this case, that was a big upgrade and I loved how they released this. It says 35th anniversary, 4K Ultra HD. I loved how it's a slip cover on the outside of this. That's very limited edition. This is another very limited edition release. Once these sell out, they won't print them again, just like what they did with some other releases I talked about earlier this year. You know, I talked about Event Horizon, if you haven't checked out that review. That was one I didn't realize was that limited. It sold out almost right away, and basically those steelbooks are going for hundreds of dollars. You're gonna be able to get a standard edition, but if you wanna check out that release, it's gonna be coming out on a standard release as well of the disc, but it won't have that limited edition casing. But if you wanna check out that review, it's available here on this YouTube channel as well. On this one though, it's another one of those very limited edition releases. I loved how they did this in the Steelbook. As you can see, you get a separate slip cover with a very nice Steelbook art in it. Very shiny. It says Running Man on the side with different artwork on the back. Loved how they released this release. Man, Paramount's trying to overtake Lionsgate in the US for these limited edition Steelbook releases because this and what I talked about in that Event Horizon review those steelbooks that they released are some really cool collectible releases. And this one was one that I felt was a healthy enough improvement over the Cape Light 4K Ultra HD release that I already own two versions of this that I thought it was worthwhile buying again, especially because I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. Getting that better bit rate and overall where the image was more stable, basically what I think they did on this release is they took Cape Light's previous 4K Ultra HD, basically work they did with Paramount on this, Cape Light's basically exclusivity period or whatever they, they basically licensed it for, it basically run out. So then the work went back to basically Paramount Studios, Paramount reworked it, did some extra tweaking, made sure some extra things were done to it and released it, which is why I think this looks better than the Cape Light release from before. But it is slight upgrades, but to me it was enough of a slight upgrade that I did feel like those improvements made it the ultimate way to watch The Running Man. And I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is one of those nostalgic releases. I love the soundtrack in it. I love the acting in it, the action, the kind of tongue-in-cheek humor. Very kind of like representative of kind of like what I felt like Robocop was, kind of that tongue-in-cheek feel to it that I think works so well and is very hard to replicate these days. What a great 80s action sci-fi movie and I can't recommend this release enough. This one comes in at number five as a must buy 4K Ultra HD release that you must not sleep on because this will sell out. Once it sells out, these limited editions are never reprinted by Paramount Studios ever again. So don't miss out on getting your copy while it's available so it's not like Event Horizon is where I get hundreds of messages of people asking if there's a way to get a hold of that again. They're simply not. So that link's down there below for you. Coming in at number four is RoboCop. I just previously mentioned this when I was talking about the Running Man limited edition set. Well, RoboCop was one of my favorite releases of this year on 4K Ultra HD. Now, I know Arrow Video kind of made us all double dip because they released that Blu-ray previously before that, but here's an example of where this was such a substantial upgrade that the image quality on this and the audio quality on this made it worthwhile in upgrading. And I really love this film. Kind of like what I talked about with Running Man, I'm a child of the 80s. I love growing up in the 80s. I love the films from the 80s, the music. And you can't go wrong with RoboCop or Running Man. I had a hard time deciding which one came out better. RoboCop came out a little bit ahead of Running Man simply because it does come in this great limited edition set from Arrow Video. Now I did the review previously of this. If you wanna dive into that, I go into what comes in this box set and all of the details about this really in depth. You can check that out here on this YouTube channel. A lot of these, I've done a lot of these special exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons. I did that in that review and it gives you exactly what it is you're getting in an upgrade on this. So if you wanna check out that review, it's available to watch right now. But this one does come in at number four and you need to check out that video so you don't miss out on this release. Coming in at number three is the absolutely amazing and phenomenally well done release of The Frighteners on 4K Ultra HD in the extremely limited edition six disc box set that I previously reviewed here on this YouTube channel. 
This is a recent release that just came out here recently and I did get this in about three weeks early before the release date to do my review. That was done quite a while ago. That's available to watch right now here on this YouTube channel. I had a hard time deciding if this was gonna be number one, but overall when sitting down and going through all the reviews, review scores and analysis, this one comes out at number three for the year and is an absolutely knocked it out of the park release by Turbine and Universal Studios. If you wanna know more about this release, you need to go check out my exclusive review video that I did. I did the 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons that I exclusively do. I share all of what's in this box test, the testing, the analysis, and man, was this a reference quality. Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos release with all the different cuts and so many different things that they did for this release. You really gotta check this one out. This one is limited to roughly 8,000 copies. There's two different artworks you can get on this that I talked about in that review. And I picked this one to have them send me because I do love this artwork the best. You do get the second artwork inside this box set that I talk about in the review as well. But depending on whichever artwork you want, between both of the artworks that are available, there's roughly 8,000 copies total and that's it. And this is an exclusive release for this restoration. It's not gonna be released anywhere, this exact restoration that's done by Turbine and Universal for at least roughly four years. Now, somebody else could possibly step in and start a whole new restoration that's completely different, but they won't be able to use any of the work or any of the material in this restoration or this release and this is a reference quality release. This is the best I've ever seen the Frighteners look and you don't want to miss out on this release. Make sure to go check out that review video and don't wait too long. But man, this comes in at number three, Turbine and Universal. Mm, what a great and outstanding release to give us here at the end of the year. Couldn't miss sharing about this one. Coming in at number two, I am a huge Trekkie. I love Star Trek, the original series. I love Star Trek, the next generation. And I loved these films. And they actually did an outstanding restoration on these. Paramount has done a great job lovingly restoring, 4K restoring, all of these classic Star Trek films. And we got five and six finally in 2022, full 4K restorations. They looked great and were such outstanding releases by Paramount Studios. I did the complete analysis and review with 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons here on this YouTube channel. I also did the original release of all of the rest of the Star Trek films they released on 4K as well, if you wanna check that out. But these are wonderful releases and I love Star Trek so much and I'm so happy they got the love and care they deserved in these restorations. And these are highly recommended if you love sci-fi films or Star Trek, don't miss out on these releases. They were sold out for a very long time when these originally came out. And after I did my review, I had hundreds of messages of people saying, hey, how do we get a hold of these? They've been sold out on every website. Paramount did such a good job with these that literally everyone was going out and buying them and they couldn't get them back in stock. They couldn't print them fast enough. And that's where I said they did such a good job with these. These come in at number two. The restoration work they did on these, you really need to check out on my review videos. I did two of them. I did obviously the one that just goes into these two and then the one that I did previously that talks about the original four movies. And I'm telling you, it was such a great job Paramount did working on these and the amount of time they took to lovingly restore these correctly with the correct color grading earned these the number two on the spot for the year. Paramount did some great releases this year and these were ones you can't miss out on. Now getting to my number one release of the year. This is my favorite 4K Ultra HD restoration and remaster that they did of the entire year. Now it's kind of interesting also because this was also my number one most watched, longest viewed video and most liked video of the entire year. And it's acquired almost 25 thousand views in just the last few months since I created the review. And without further ado, the Godfather Trilogy on 4K Ultra HD is my number one favorite 4K Ultra HD release of the year. The Godfather release was outstanding. Now before I actually created this review video, and if you haven't checked out that review video I was referencing, it's my most watched, most liked video of the entire year. It has almost 25,000 views on my YouTube channel for that video alone, which is absolutely phenomenal. 
But before I made that video, to give you a little background information, I actually talked directly with the restoration and head archivist, James McCoskey, at American Zoetrope. And he's who actually worked directly with Francis Ford Coppola and did this entire restoration. Now, I talked with some of the other members on his team as well, what they did with this, the work they went behind it, talking with obviously Francis Ford Coppola and what went behind all of this, the restoration they did on this and all of the massive work they did on this entire trilogy. And then I went in and did my review video, which is available for you to watch. So all that information I share in there is directly from the actual American Zoetrope who did the restoration on this and my long conversations I had with them. All the things they shared, hidden tidbits and things that I learned that went behind this restoration. I absolutely loved this release. Paramount and American Zoetrope, Francis Ford Coppola, James McCoskey, Andrea, all of that team behind it did such a loving restoration with this, keeping the native and natural film grain that was on it without using the program Neat or DNR to get rid of it. Man, this is the best The Godfather has ever looked. And I know there's some folks out there that kind of argue saying, well, I liked kind of more the color grading that the Blu-rays had. But according to Francis Ford Coppola, and he's the director who is the one that basically he's saying what it should look like. This release does look the purest and the best that I think The Godfather has ever looked. And talking with all of what went behind this, this was the number one release of the year and really was a phenomenally outstanding release. Now, if you enjoy The Godfather, I just got this in. This is The Offer, which is actually the TV series, TV mini series. That's the story of behind the making of the Godfather movies and kind of the mafia and the threats that went on. And man, is it really well done and entertaining. Talking about what Francis Ford Coppola went through and basically all of the writers, directors, the studio, the threats they received. You gotta check out this release. I really enjoyed this. This is the brand new Blu-ray release that just came out actually a day ago of basically behind the scenes of The Godfather. If you love The Godfather, you need to get the offer on Blu-ray. Watch this, then dive in to start watching this series from beginning to end again with all the multiple cuts that are available in this set. This and The Offer really complement each other well and I really enjoyed them together. So I would definitely suggest buying this on Blu-ray. It looks so much better than it did on streaming. The streaming was really compressed down. It had issues with the audio. I had a hard time hearing it. And the image had a lot of blocking and there was some banding through it with all the compression. On the Blu-ray, that's all gone. It looks great in this Blu-ray release. And I did really enjoy it. The audio quality sounded great as well. Now, just touching on the TV series here just for a second, it does run 540 minutes and it does have English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 on it which is why I said the audio mix sounded so much better on this as well. It does have over two and a half hours of bonus behind the scenes, deleted scenes, and special features on this Blu-ray release as well that dive even more into The Godfather. So that is why I felt like this Blu-ray release was really one that you need to have if you like The Godfather. You need to get this so you can dive into all the special features, the behind the scenes, and then watch this series because it really complemented The Godfather well. And I really think that it needs to be included in all of The Godfather's fans' collections so that you sit down and watch through this to get kind of more of the history and behind the scenes of The Godfather. So I'll post the links for the Blu-ray release down below. I have the 4K links posted down below because this is my number one pick as my number one favorite release on 4K Ultra HD for the year. Now I am going to share an honorable mention. It's not the top release of the year, but I did want to just mention it because I've gotten tons and tons of comments asking about it. Getting to my honorable mention, it's the Pirates of the Caribbean 5 film 4K Ultra HD movie collection. Now. This was only released in select territories. This is the Australian release, which I'll post the Amazon US link to buy this so that way you can order it directly. But as far as this release goes, the first 4K Ultra HD release of the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie was lambasted and just, it wasn't a great release. It didn't look amazing. It was soft. It had numerous issues with it. But basically Disney decided to kind of scrap the rest of the releases on 4K Ultra HD and only release them in basically a few territories. I bought this because I wanted to have the rest of the films to see how they looked. I did enjoy two through five, the rest of the films. So the other four basically Pirates of the Caribbean films on 4K Ultra HD did look quite a bit better than the first film did. And it's kind of a shame because I kind of felt like 
Disney should have released the rest of them so people could have seen that the quality did get better, quite a bit better, as they went on and were drastic upgrades over the previous Blu-ray releases of the rest of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Because it got such horrible reviews and I think the sales of Pirates of the Caribbean, the first film, didn't do so well, that's why they didn't release the rest of these everywhere worldwide. But I do recommend the set. I like having it. It's not obviously, didn't make it into the top 10, but I just wanted to mention it because I've gotten hundreds of comments about this release asking about the quality of it. The rest of the films in this release are all included. So other than the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, you go through the rest of them. The rest of the four films are nice, healthy improvements over the Blu-rays. Audio, visual quality with the HDR do look really good on them and they were nice upgrades and I enjoyed them. So for that reason, that's why I thought this set should be mentioned. And when you get inside here, it's pretty basic. You get your 4K Ultra HD discs in here and they list them off in here telling the titles of each film with them listed on 4K Ultra HD and that's it. So if you do own the previous Blu-ray releases, you're gonna wanna hold on to those for all the special feature discs and things like that. But this is for the films and the price of it's pretty reasonable. For all five films in this set, I was happy I got it because the other ones were an upgrade and I enjoyed them. And that's why I wanted to mention this because I've gotten so many comments asking about this. Is it worth buying? It is an upgrade over the Blu-rays for the image quality on the rest of them. First one was disappointing. Overall, I'm not gonna get too deep into that. I think it's been covered plenty. It was a disappointing release. The rest of them though in this were worthwhile upgrades and it is worth buying. I'll put that link directly below, that way you can access it and you can order it. It'll ship anywhere worldwide, but this is the set I suggest buying. Keep your Blu-ray so you get all your special features, things like that, but this has your 4K disc for the rest of the films and they do look the best they ever have, just they're not reference quality, so don't go into it thinking that, but they are nice, healthy improvements for the rest of the films after the first one on 4K Ultra HD that I did enjoy the series and was glad that I got this 4K Ultra HD set. Whoa, that was a mouthful and a lot to cover on this video. Now, this is one that I hope all of you've enjoyed. I spent a lot of time working on this to give you some really exciting titles that I know a lot of people just don't talk about. It seems like a lot of these great and outstanding releases get ignored or people forget about them. I wanted to make sure to shine a light and give some of these releases some love. Some of these I didn't get to review and that's why I wanted to make sure to cover them on this video so that way you know about them so you can go down there and buy them and add them to your collection. Let me know what of these titles you've got, what of these titles you don't have, what of these you're excited to get now that I've talked about them and kind of shown some light on them. Kind of like with Boss Level, a lot of those like hidden titles that a lot of people just don't know about that I always try to cover here exclusively on my channel. Make sure to start that conversation down below. I wanna hear from all of you. Make sure to talk about what of these you're excited about. What of these you wanna to add to your collection that you haven't added yet. Start that conversation down there below. I had a fun time with this one today. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. If you haven't done so already, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. That's the best way possible to support the creation of these videos and this YouTube channel. I'm not sponsored or paid by anybody. So the only way I always can continue to create all this content is through all of your love and support through my Collector's VIP Club or giving a super thanks to the super thanks button down below. All of that goes right back into this channel. It's just kind of like PBS. If you ever remember watching PBS, they always said they can only continue to create content because it's through all of your support. It's the same thing with my channel. I'm only able to keep doing this full time and creating all these exclusive videos through all of your support. So that's why I always say joining the Collector's VIP Club or giving a super thanks through the super thanks button down below truly does make a drastic difference. And I appreciate all the love and support all of you have given over the years. As always, I hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new and very exciting coming out very soon.